Is it your first spring practice? Assess where you are at this point. Uh, so right now, just uh, doing a lot of learning from the older guys, doing a lot of learning from Coach Tarver. Um, I feel like a lot of the stuff I'm doing is becoming natural to me, more natural. Just a lot of help from everyone around me, all the defensive guys and some offensive guys, just kind of getting me on track. I feel like I'm making a lot of progress. Uh, it's not a new position, but it is a position I'm getting used to. And so I feel like I'm getting some around there. Is it fair to say you're getting most of the starting reps at your spot inside? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say we have even like a starting lineup yet. I feel like we do a lot of rotation, especially in position, given how young we are. So I can't say that I'm getting a lot of starting reps. I can't say that everyone at this position is you know doing well. I feel like any of us would be a great starter. You came in last year pretty highly regarded, physically advanced, uh, but two guys took basically all the spots there, all the reps as the season went along. What was it that kept you off the field? Was it just not knowing the system as well as the others, maybe? Uh, so those two guys were very talented guys, knew, knew the system very well. I feel like a lot of us young guys just had to learn it. Though that was a lot of it. Um, you know, the physical preparedness, I feel like I was, you know, around there. Obviously, there's some ground to gain, you know, always. But I feel like physically I was there. It was the mental aspects and, you know, just playing in the SEC with those guys. A lot of smart dudes on the field. So that was a lot of what helped me back. Where have you improved since you left off at the bowl game? And where is it that you're still looking to get better? Uh, just a lot of the mechanics, the techniques, uh, just getting back to the fundamentals, you know. When you get to college, a lot of guys try to do what they did in high school and that just doesn't work. You gotta, you know, reinvent your game, uh, learn from the people who talk to you. So, you know, just getting lower in my stance, just reading my keys, having my eyes right, things like, little things like that have helped me a lot. A sudden change in your position, Coach, right before camp started. How has that changed things? Uh, it, you know, it's a hit. It's hard because, you know, that's a guy who recruited me. That's a big reason why I came here. But at the same time, you know, the whole staff is capable. We love all these guys. So it has been too, you know, too bad. It's actually been really good. Um, Coach Marv, you know, supports it. He supports all of us still, still family. So it has been too hard to transition. And Coach Tarvis, you know, filled the role very well, very well. How excited are you to get your brother here? I'm very excited. Uh, I I actually miss playing with him this year. This It's always fun having him on the field, just being able to, you know, be those two guys when you get on the field, everybody recognize you, everybody knows, you know, what you're about to do, what you're about, and not to mention, it's almost telepathic. You know what the dude behind you is going to do. Having my brother back there was just amazing. It's, it's heaven. What can you tell us about him as a player? How does he fit in here? Uh, he's a tenacious dude. You know, he doesn't give up reps, doesn't, uh, doesn't really give him much to anybody. Quiet dude off the field, but when he gets on the field, talks as much as any, any man. Uh, you know, it's a complete switch, complete 180. But the dude really loves what he does, and that's the kind of passion that we need on this team. Thank you so much. Best of luck.